hey what is up in this video we are going to dive deep into eloquent we'll learn about what eloquent is and we'll explore all the hidden features how to use them with all the use cases i'll explain everything uh, with experience of several years i have found out a lot of uh, cool tricks and uh, the ways to do them better so i will help you learn them in very short period of time so let's get started so i'm assuming you know very basic about laravel or you have done some basic crud application and you are not quite familiar with eloquent you have a grasp of some features but you know you don't know exactly what you can achieve with eloquent so first off what is eloquent so it is tool offered by laravel which help us to write query quite easily you can say to talk with database to perform CRUD operation, CRUD meaning creating something on database, reading out of that, updating that record and deleting as well. So all that will be quite easier with Eloquent. So we'll start by creating simple model and we'll fetch all records. We'll know, we'll learn how we can, how many ways we can ex uh, extract the data from there, many ways to create them, update them, and all other features. So first off, let's go to, so I have a Laravel application. So let's create, let's open up terminal. So make model. So first thing, what is the model? So model is basically a class that help us to talk with certain table. So one model is linked with one table one database table. So that model is responsible for uh, doing all the operation on the table that this model class is linked. Suppose we are creating, we are generating a model. So we need a flights. Suppose we need a flights. We are making some uh, airport related application or flight related application and we need to store all the flights data. So we will need flights table where we can uh, put the name of flight, departure date, whether that is delayed or not, and all information about flight. So for that first thing we need is this flight class or flight model. So and we'll need another migration file. So doing dash m or minus m will create the migration. So migration will generate the table and flight will be responsible for talking with that table. So both classes are generated. Let's close this terminal. Let's go to flight.php. So if you see, there are two, one file inside database migration, which will create a flight table and another inside app folder, which is flight.php. So also you can go from here, app flight. Okay, so if you see this class, this is a normal class, normal PHP class without all this. So this is just PHP class. So what makes it model is this class which is inside illuminate database eloquent model. So that is offered by Laravel and this our, our this flight class extends this model class. So by extending this model class, this got all the superpowers of this parent. So we can perform many operations, many easy, easy methods that will uh, write all the queries for us. So to uh, dive deep into this uh, model, you can go to this class, just control click and open this up. Okay, so this is the model class. It could be quite intimidating if you are just beginning with Laravel or if you have quite experience with PSP, uh, you don't need to study too much documentation. You can just go into here and read these comments. You can use like connection name, table name, custom table name, primary key, and everything. You can alter all these by overwriting these property into this class. So in our parent, primary key is ID. Suppose we want to uh, change this thing, right? So we'll go to our this class and paste that. Now primary key, if we want to make any other fields, primary key, any other column, we can make like this. Similarly, there are many properties that you can alter. You can visit here and learn about it. So connection will change the connection name. By default, it will 
uh, do the MySQL connection or that is the connection that is defined in .env file. So in .env file we define the connection name, we define host, port and database name and all stuff. So you can alter that here as well. Similarly, you can specify table name. By default, it will link with the plural of this. So it will be linked with flights table. So you can alter that by this property and auto incrementing false with meaning it will eager load all the relationship whenever we you call flights all or flights get with count we'll just count them up per page how many things you want to load that will be helpful for pagination custom pagination exist false if it indicates if model exists so what's recently created indicates if model was inserted during the current request cycle so this is helpful when you are doing update or create or first or new we'll uh, see that in future so suppose you are uh, checking if there is already that record if not we want to update it so if there is already existing we want to update it if not we want to create it so in some case you want to know whether i have updated or created new so this will help so was recently created true means it was created if it is false meaning it was updated on that method call so these several methods are also specified here like this that we just discussed we can alter these many things so these are some of the things that are specified in documentation and there are many other uh, properties that are not uh, specified or talk uh, listed here documented here that you can alter by visiting that model class and overwriting them if you need it all right so we have this model and we have migration let's open up migration file and generate that table quickly generate that table so i will have name of flight all right for now i'm just creating two field name and in this is delayed so i'm making this false by default let's migrate cool now if we refresh we should have flights table with both fields name and is delayed so for reference i will just quickly generate some dummy data okay so we have a couple of data and now let's go to let's create a route just for our testing purpose we'll execute many methods just to get feel of it so i've created this testing route and just ignore all other routes for now and as so if you are familiar with laravel if you want to get all the data from that table so if you are uh, coming from core php you need to execute all the sql queries and all so with eloquent you just call the model hey model give me all the flights that's it of course you need to import that class here so it will auto import for me all right so if it is not imported you need to just write this or you can install a plugin that will help you with import so i can import class like this alt control alt i okay so now if you die dump so you can die dump like this or you can die dump directly like this dd all right so let's go and execute this route there you go so whenever you execute this route it will fetch all the class sorry all the data so one thing to notice it it is returning us this collection class so collection is class that is offered by laravel which will offer quite a lot of methods we useful methods that we'll explore in next lecture so you can see it is collection of three arrays so each array is class itself flight class model class and it got all these properties and attributes so these are the column values 
okay so similarly all other class we can get like this so it returns the model instance model class so I'm assuming you know how to display this on view by doing for each all right so you can do for each for example site name and you can get all site name like this all right suppose you want to order the flights by latest first and oldest last so you can do like this so latest all it will it will give you according to this created ad so suppose this flight we created on three these on this on two this on one so it will order by this created ad so it will uh, put this on top and then this then this sorry if you do latest you need to do get so you will get first entry flight 33 because it's created that date is latest so and then after for it is created first it is uh, this flight nm is created then this then this all right so suppose you, uh, in our case we want to uh, do by we want to order them by some other fields suppose we have some departure field and if we want to order them by departure date you need to do like this departure so by the way uh, you cannot do all so all and get are similar but if you don't want uh, this get is more versatile you can use get method and skip this all also you can do oldest so this is same as doing like this ascending so small to big you can also do descending so you can do all constant like this so another cool thing that is suppose you want to get all the flights whose who are delayed so if you see in our table so everything suppose this one is delayed so flight these two flights are delayed let's make them one and this one is not delayed suppose you want to get the delayed flight you can do like this where normal way is one so it gets all delayed flights eight flights is delayed all right so now we get two item same thing but you can do it in more uh, readable way by like this sorry so you can get like this so flight where is delayed false there you go and where is delayed true two flights so if you want to get delayed flights where is delayed true you can less so what is it doing is where is simple query builder and this is delayed so capital case so each and then underscore it will do automatically underscore and source for is underscore delayed field on your table and true means one false means zero so where is delayed equals to zero and get all these so this is another cool thing that is more readable in my opinion or you can do on normal way so another cool thing that you can do is uh, by default you if you want to put something on your column suppose delete if you want to do delete by default true you can do true or false so at this moment we have done that so if you go to migration flights migration so we have done that on our database level default zero so in some case if you you haven't done this on database level and later on you want to alter that uh, you can do that by defining this attribute this property attributes property protected and then you can specify column name and then default value so there are many methods that you can use flights model so one other another thing that i want to uh, 
uh, tell is there are other traits that has been used so if you don't find that attributes or suppose you are searching for this in this class by doing control r attributes attributes and you don't find that property here so that is uh, it is quite likely that uh, those are inside the particular traits so for example has attributes trade so this looks it contains attributes so if you open this and here you see that attributes thing all right there are other thing like casts change original you can read comment and uh, you can do what these things do and appends there are a lot of many features hidden features that are not yet documented you can export them like i said all right so next we'll learn about some of the collection methods and uh, this another uh, advanced sub queries so we'll do that next